Hello, G.I. Joe fans. This is your old pal Chuck, and I am back with another review. Continuing the 50th anniversary line with a uh, new slate of Toys R Us and online exclusives. Uh, this is from the uh, Hasbro 2-pack of Classic Clash. This is Spirit. Now, originally I was going to pass on this figure because I thought it was just a straight repaint of the Pursuit of Cobra Spirit figure, which, as you know, um, was based on the character Billy from Predator. And the reason I was going to pass is while I enjoyed that figure, the accessories that came with this version of the figure I felt would not be best utilized by the mold. Well, I soon found out that there was some new tooling involved, and that led me to give this figure a chance, and I have to say, this is absolutely dreadful. It feels like the paint was just layered on. It's difficult to get the backpack in, it's difficult to get the figure to peg into the stand, but more importantly for me, it cannot hold uh, its main accessory, which is the classic spirit um, arrow gun, but let's give you a little 360. As you can see, this is basically Billy from Predator in tan camouflage, just looping around here. There's the backpack. This part is removable, as well as the extra clips for the arrow gun are removable. And I think that's basically the nicest thing I can say. Uh, let's pause and I'll give you a close-up look at the head. I had a great joke all lined up for this figure saying, uh, in case you needed to be reminded, this man still wants to kill you. But unfortunately, since he has eyes that can't even look at you, I don't know how... It would even he would be even be able to kill you. Now, what's funny is you think that the pupils are, are it's just a quality control issue, but I think it was done on purpose since this is basically the range of motion for the head. So basically, if you put it down like this, uh, spirit is looking forward. There is no real art articulation from uh, rotation from side to side due to the collar of the vest and the shirt underneath. I am disappointed that the web gear was changed because there is no sheath for the included knife or machete. Uh, moving down, remember how I said he can't hold his gun? Well, originally I thought this wasn't going to be a problem because uh, Spirit was given the new super articulated wrist. Well, these hands cannot hold the stock of that uh, hunting rifle. We'll see in a minute. And more importantly, as you can see, with the vest on, the arms can't come in flush to the side. That is just, in the year 2015, unacceptable. Other than that, you have universal shoulders, an ab crunch that's completely hindered by the vest, uh, ball-jointed hips, double-jointed knees, and just standard ankle articulation. Uh, let's move on and take a look at the accessories. Since this is my first Joe review uh, since the change, allow me to just apologize if uh, my reviewing station looks a little haphazard. As I've mentioned in a couple Transformer reviews, um, I've had my house is undergoing some renovations, so I've had to uh, shift locations and um, making do as I can. Um, here's the included machete, which which comes from the Pursuit of Cobra version of the figure. Here's this nice little shiv knife that's been around, I would say, since retaliation. And here's the real crowning jewel, which is that great arrow rifle that, you know, the original spirit came with. Well, on the original figure, and I mean the original, you know, 1986-87 figure, it had a handle that it could hold. Well, since the 25th anniversary, they decided to... Uh, model it like this and if you remember the 25th anniversary spirit couldn't hold the rifle and well I thought this one could and technically should be able to but the hand just can't grab wrap around the stock the finger is too big because of the brown painted gloves to fit into the trigger notch and even then you can kind of get it but then you can't bring the arms together for any type of realistic shooting poses it's utterly pointless and a waste. I'm just completely disappointed. 
I was really looking forward to this version of Spirit having the Billy from Predator figure in a, a nice tan scheme really uh, wet my whistle, but this is utter garbage. I'm not even sure if I can recommend this for customization fodder. It's part of a two-pack, and unfortunately, in a two-pack, both figures have to bring a little something to the table to make the pack worthwhile. And I cannot say that this figure brings anything to the table, making it worthwhile for a purchase. Um, if you're a fan of that version 2 Storm Shadow, well, hopefully these will be easy to find at a reason, much reasonable price, because I don't even think retail is worth the cost of this figure. This is your old pal Chuck. For Spirit, we will see you next time.